It's Tracy and Noel. They're gonna make you LOL on 90 Day Fiance Trash Talk. Hello and welcome to 90 Day Fiance Trash Talk. This is episode 243. I'm your host, comedian Tracy Carnazzo, joined by my lovely, beautiful, amazing co-host, Noel Winters Herzog. Hello and hi. Um, how are you doing? Uh, I'm okay. I'm tired. Uh, I'm worn out from our very long walk today. I know I took you on a long walk in the sun. You walked me in the sun, though. I'm not used to being in that much sun. <laughs> It was so nice out today is we're yeah. recording this on Tuesday, October 3rd, 2023. And it was beautiful out today. And I was like, you know what, Noel, I'm going to take you on a walk in the in the carriage. Oh, it's Mean Girls Day, October 3rd. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. cute. I wasn't in the carriage. Yeah, so I went day get in the cart. I know. I was like, get in the stroller and let's go for a walk. Sorry. And you were such a good girl. You walked the whole time and you pushed the stroller yourself. I walked the whole time. I pushed the stroller myself. <laughs> what stroller? I don't know. But we had a great time. Well, if you guys want to hear more about that, you know where to go. BS. Go to patreon.com slash trash talk podcast where you could find our favorite podcast, BS, along with our other new favorite podcast, So Pumped, a Vanderpump Rules podcast. And if you're looking to see if we're covering the other way, we are. And it's right over there at patreon.com slash trash talk podcast. Go there. Go there. We're here to talk about Before the 90 Days, Season 6, eight, Episode 18, The Tell All, all Part Do. There should have been only one part. Okay, so Nick edits our clips. You guys know mm-hmm. Nick. Mm-hmm. Um, We love him. You love we him. We love him. Mm-hmm. He edits our clips. Edit. Keyword uh-huh. edit. Uh-huh. We're going to send him over to TLC, and we're going to have him teach TLC how to cut out um, the parts where they're like, all right, we're going to take a break now. Right. And then the four minutes that it takes everyone to walk backstage, Nick's going to help them cut that. Right. This could have been one episode. I don't need to see them all coming in in their street clothes. I don't care. No, no one cares about that. Nothing happens. Like we talk to people we already spoke to and talk about nothing. It's like I'm watching this episode. It took me forever to watch this episode. It took you even longer to watch it. Noel, I uh-huh. watched it for an hour and a half, right? Mm-hmm. For an hour and a half, I watched it straight. Mm-hmm. And then I paused it to see how far I went. And it was 21 minutes. Yeah. Uh huh. But I watched it for an hour and a half. Emotionally. I watched, I watched it. I know. I watched it last night. And I'm like, how? Or the other morning, whatever. I'm like, how is this still on? Yeah, it's never going to stop. So, but yet I watched the other way. 10 minutes of it, it felt like one second. I know. Well, yeah. tell all part two. We're it is the last part. Thank you. Riley and Violet. Um, So, she, this is confusing. Mm-hmm. You think? Okay. So, I think she's saying that she had a she had an abortion. abortion. Right. No, oh, we're she, not allowed she, to say that? No, I don't know. I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> right. I'm thinking that she's saying. She said that she was old with bad health and could not keep the pregnancy. And right. I think that people were thinking that she meant like her body couldn't keep the, preg- yes. like hold the pregnancy. But I think she meant like, oh, no, thank you. Yes. that OK, that's exactly what I thought. OK, she said it's because of my health. Right. So I thought that she terminated the pregnancy. I think she did. Yes. That's but here's right. the thing. Just say it. Yes. Or, like, yeah. I don't know. We're, Who cares? What are we implying? Yeah. Misha was like, <gasps> Uh, well, that's another reason why I thought she must have implied that she had an abortion because Misha's head exploded. <laughs> well, she's coming to the U.S. And Riley said that he was gonna propose before. But he didn't know about the, and he says miscarriage. So I don't know. I'm not accusing her of anything. I'm just saying the way she worded it. it no, me a too. I, I, I think she said it and then whoever took it, however they took it was fine with her. Right. That's what I think was how it went. Yeah, I know. He was going to propose. Sure, you were. Okay. Right. He's yeah, like, no, I'm I was sure. going to propose. He's like, mm-hmm. I just had to get the private investigator. He and doesn't feel emotionally gonna... attached to this either. Because he doesn't think it was real. Yeah, because he doesn't think it was mm-hmm. real. Which I, I understand. That, I understand it too. Also, he wasn't there for any of this. Uh-huh. And it's like, would it, I mean, if you're Riley... Do you uh-huh. want to be upset about a possible miscarried baby? No. And I think I'd be like, all right, I'm just going like... to never happen. Right. And then the medication he was on and they it's only called... hooked up once and it confuses him. It's called disassociating and it's my favorite. It's all I do, honey. <laughs> all right. So Cleo came mm-hmm. to the United States for a month, met all of the 
women in his family, the women in his family. Oh, she as soon as them. Cleo says this, I'm like, oh, God, only the women, of course. The women. Oh, my God. She's so, but she loves breadcrumbs. Well, so this that's the problem with Cleo. Uh, Cleo is dying for Christian to love her. Yes, that's it. So his family is very masculine and conservative. So then, Cleo, why do you want to be a part of this family? I got to tell you, I don't want to be a part of this family. Well, so that's the thing. It's like there. I mean, for the most part, unfortunately, they're probably never going to accept Cleo. So what are we doing here? Even if a family accepted me, because mm-hmm. I think a masculine conservative family could uh-huh. accept me. Oh, I would just disassociate. But I. <laughs> yeah, but for Christian, you know what I mean? It's like, what are you getting yeah. a prize here? Well, that that's the thing. Oh. And I think that somehow Christian has brainwashed Cleo into thinking he is a prize and a mm-hmm. half. Yeah. Because Cleo thinks like the sun rises and sets for yes, Christian. I yeah. know. Well, mm-hmm. she was uh, he was cheating on her on Discord, basically. And Jane doesn't like him. So he has some kind of like Discord group, oh, which God. is like a chat. This group. was the lamest thing I have honestly ever heard. He's a it's like in the land of the blind the man right? who are these signs <laughs> who are these steiners you know what i mean yeah so then these they show are like him- the catfish on catfish that's oh, who no, i know are. <laughs> they show him flirting with this girl the girl in the bar and as he's watching it he is so proud of himself yes he is mm-hmm. he's laughing and laughing and laughing no one likes you christian that he thinks that everyone likes him though Cleo's so mad, pretend mm-hmm. mad because she's not mm-hmm. actually mad. No. And they bring the girl from the bar in because they planted her. She was a Maury sexy decoy. Yeah, she was. The, the amount, I couldn't believe watching Maury, the how people would fall for this. Oh, in the green room, let me make out with this random yeah, Okay, girl. wait. I feel like we knew someone that hooked up like their boyfriend hooked up with the sexy decoy you're right we did but i don't we know did. Who i don't was. remember we who did. it was yeah that uh-huh. was all real yeah it was all very real yeah you're right um so jasmine tells cleo to be more confident here's the thing about jasmine in this tell all jasmine is like listen mm-hmm. do as i say not as i do and i respect that you like that yeah. me i feel like if jasmine acted the way in the tell-all like if she acted this way all season she'd probably be my favorite yes she was great in the yeah. tell-all why was she was nice she was empathetic because, you know why? why i think that she got what she wanted from gina when she's here and she feels a lot better and also I mean, this it, isn't about her the well that's about the jasmine thing it's not is, about her jasmine's not listen i don't like that she like abandoned her children obviously yeah. but besides that like jasmine's not mean to everyone around her no, Jasmine's actually pretty nice to other people. Right. Jasmine's crazy with Gino because right. of her insecurity. But she's not just like a mean person, per se. Right. At least that's what I see. Yeah, Jasmine, she's so nice. She's like, I feel like motherly figure towards Cleo. I feel mm-hmm. like really protective. And Cleo deserves the world. And it's like, yes. that's so nice. Cleo cries. Because Cleo needs to know that. Now, Misha says... Let me tell you something. What she says is absolutely true. Misha's what like, she say? are you happy with Christian exactly how he is? Do you accept him exactly how he is? Yep. And she's mm-hmm. like, no, I do not. And he's like, hey, Cleo, mm-hmm. do you want to come here and live with me? And would you be willing mm-hmm. to marry me? And she starts shaking and crying because her dreams are coming true. Do you remember one second ago when Misha was like, do you accept him? Uh-huh. And then and Cleo said no. But now Christian wants to marry Cleo. But what the hell was that? Was that a proposal? You know what I mean? It's like, hey, how would you feel about coming here and like marrying me? Thanks so much. And he's like, no, I mean, like, I'll ask you again or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, maybe whatever. Yeah, I know I'll, like, this isn't you. like a real proposal. but Yeah, I'll text you. I mean, you're not going to get a real proposal from me. This is what you're going to get. Do you like it? Yes. Perfect. He's like, it's not official. And Riley is like, this is so awkward. He was right. Yeah. Hell yeah. Riley was right. He was right. So she's so happy. She's obsessed with him. And Janus says she's shattered. And it's like, oh my God, you're shattered? Jane's watching this disgusting I man. Know. Like the way that he, her friend. The way that he defends himself, I'm like, you're just a shit person. Yeah, he's you're sucks. a bad person. Yeah. All right. Well, moving on. Sheila opens a coffee shop. 
Mm-hmm. Um, it's coffee and chips. And well, that's so cute. cute. I love very, her. I want coffee cute. and chips. Well, David goes to the lawyer and they wanted to get married in November by Sheila's house. Right. Mm-hmm. And they're like, okay, well, if you do a marriage visa, it's going to be three to four years. If you could do the K-1, it's going to be two years. So right. call Sheila to tell her and he's crying. My God, the crying. Misha's crying. It's like, yeah. Misha, get it together. I know, but everyone's crying. I know. Well, Dave, because you know why? Because this is like the only couple that like actually loves each like other. Like each other. Uh-huh. And David helps Sheila fix her home. David's working two jobs, 85 hours a day. A week. A week. Sorry. Uh-huh. Did you imagine? That's so nice. Yeah. Wow. You're not kidding. <laughs> this guy is dedicated, <laughs> huh? I mean, I, I, I like appreciate that he's it. got this beard now. No glasses. I know. He's like, I got a makeover. Yeah. He got a Maury makeover. He did. He got a Jenny Jones makeover. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, so everybody was like, well, so cool. if he's working 85 hours a week, he definitely does not have time to cook. He doesn't have time to shave or cook. He doesn't have time to do anything. And with the busy fall season already in swing, you might be looking for wholesome, convenient meals for jam-packed days. Factor, America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit, can help you fuel up fast for breakfast, lunch, and dinner with chef-prepared, dietitian approved ready-to-eat meals delivered straight to your door. You save time, eat well, and stay on track with your healthy lifestyle. Too busy this fall to cook, but want to make sure you're eating well? With Factor, skip the extra trip to the grocery store and the chopping, prepping, and cleaning up too while still getting the flavor and nutrition nutritional quality that you need factors fresh never frozen meals are ready in just two minutes so all you have to do is heat enjoy and then get back to crushing your goals adjust your stride this autumn without missing a step choose from 35 plus weekly flavor packed fresh never frozen meals that promote a healthy lifestyle and meet your meal preferences all ready to eat noel in two Mm -hmm. minutes i love that well you can level up with gourmet plus options prepared to perfection by chefs and ready to eat in record time. Treat yourself to upscale meals with premium ingredients like broccolini, leeks, truffle butter, and asparagus. I love leeks so much. It's not normal. I love asparagus so much. I know you do. (laughs) Too busy running around during the day to think about lunch? Keep your energy up with lunch to go. Effortless, wholesome meals like green bowls and salad toppers that are ready to eat when you're on the go. No microwave required. Factor has everything. With Factor, you can rest assured you're making a sustainable choice. We offset 100% of the delivery emissions and source 100% renewable electricity for the production sites and offices. I will tell you this. Matt loved the smoothies, just like Nick, right? Oh, my God. Yes. The -hmm. juices are delicious. This October, get Factor and enjoy eating well without the hassle. Simply choose your meals and enjoy fresh, flavor-packed meals delivered right to your door. Ready in just two minutes. No prep, no mess. Head to factormeals.com slash 90day50 and use code 90day50 to get 50% off. That's code 90day50 at factormeals.com slash 90day50 to get 50% off. And guys, go over there. Check out the menu. You're going to love it. I guarantee. I do. Okay. Also, on. why did they try to make us think that David and Amy? Spoke? Oh my God. Yeah. They, they try to edit it. Maybe Nick did that editing. Yeah. It's like, come on, give me a break. They do the flashback of Amy and David is watching Sheila cry. Yeah, pretty much. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and he said that he did not uh, talk to Amy at all. Yeah, Maybe it's not. like, of course not. It's just, but why did they and have he to- also said he also said that Amy lied about learning ASL in one month. I mean, obvioso. <laughs> um, so. And then I I like that they're like, okay, so rate Sheila. How good is she at sign language? He's like, she's a two or three. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> David uh-huh. also teaches everyone the dirty signs. Oh my God, the scissoring. Oh my God. Jasmine's like, how do you say take off your hat? <laughs> that was so funny. That was very funny. See, that's what I mean. This Jasmine, she's fun. Ja- this prom new Jasmine, Jasmine is fun. <laughs> I like <laughs> prom pageant Jasmine. Yeah, that's who this is. I like it. She's very fun. All right. So Gino and Jasmine. So we talk about the prenup. Sean is like, hey, did your ex and you have a prenup? And Jasmine's like, Legoland. <laughs> oh, my God. Legoland, Legoland, Legoland. <laughs> Jasmine has not met his family. I mean, she's only been there for like two days. Gino said that he's scared of the fact that she wants a will and doesn't want to be murdered. I know, but obviously she's not going to murder you if she's talking about this will so much on te- the television. Right. Also, right. on the television, Misha doesn't believe in a prenup. Well, you know what, Misha? You've already been divorced. Yeah. 
So or I don't know. Sorry. Yeah, you've been annulled. Uh huh. Um, she doesn't believe in it. Why? Because why? Because when you marry, it's forever. Shut up, Misha. You were annulled. Yeah. Shut up, Misha. You don't have a dog in this fight. <laughs> All right. Well, now we talk about the gross stuff. We talk about the golden shower oh. in the hotel jacuzzi. God, why? We talk about how we stitched up her lady part. It was very painful, and she regrets it. I would think that would be super painful. Brandy Glanville also had that done. That sounds terrible. Yeah, it's like a vaginal rejuvenation. Mm-mm. Mm, they work on you from the inside out. Ah, 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 I could ah, faint. Ah, I know. <laughs> That's disgusting. I could actually get. It. I know. Uh-huh. I'm I'm really throwing them to you tonight. Yeah. So, um, she said that the door was not open enough. Mm-hmm. Well, um, right. So her and Gino haven't had sex since he's been there because he's too big sure. for her right now. Sure. Sure. You know what? Sure, Jasmine. It's a good line. <laughs> It's a good line. It works. <laughs> All right. So Nicola suggests that um they pl- pray to Jesus. Mm-hmm. Nicola, the sex expert. The yeah, sex expert, Nicola. <laughs> yeah. <please. laughs> him and Dr. Drew. Uh-huh. <laughs> right. Him He's the Dr. co-host Dr. of Love Line yeah, now. Him, Dr. Drew uh-huh. and, David, and uh, Adam uh-huh. Carolla. <laughs> Relax. So uh, Amanda and Rosbon. Uh, that, see, that could make me faint and vomit and gag. He mm-hmm. said that he's not good. Um, he missed his striptease class, and he's very upset about that. Mm, I'm so sorry. Then John's up. like, "Oh, you could show us." Yeah, hubba, no, no, hubba. Hubba. yeah he is Great showing you because he has a see-through shirt on. Relax. Yeah, we see. We see his nipples. We don't need any more. <laughs> <laughs> so they broke up, but they're still friends. They broke up two or three weeks after she got home, and right. she said that he wasn't focused on her, and he wants to be single. Riley, mm-hmm. you've been right about a lot of things. Mm-hmm. This one, you're not Wrong. right about. I want to tell you that I have uncovered. This is what I've uncovered. <gasps> what that you uncovered? when Amanda met Jason, she was mm-hmm. 17 yeah. working at Hooters. <laughs> he was her manager. He was yes. married with children. He left his wife for her and his kids. His kids did not get his ashes or anything. He like had like no relationship with them anymore. So he left his wife and children for Amanda when she was 17 and he was the manager. This is what I have uncovered. I love this story. Right? Yeah. And I'm good. like, this little nasty bitch is making it like she's it was like a love story. Yes. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. Right. She she's really making is. it like it's like this beautiful love story. It's like he was your manager at Applebee's. <laughs> and <laughs> he was he, your kitchen manager. <laughs> right. And he left. La- and then he did yoga with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then he left his wife for her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Terrible. Wow. Mm-hmm. So, so it just this is her character. The point is she has shitty character. Oh, I mean, you could tell by the yes. her reactions to everything. Uh-huh. Riley said it's not right that he broke up with her after they did um, relations. Shut sure. up, Riley. I don't think Rosbaum was in it just to get laid. I think he could have done that where he lives. I think so, too. Mm-hmm. So Jasmine is like, do you think? Uh huh. Do you think that mm-hmm. maybe it was because you are um, very mean? And then she's like, I, I no, I'm not mean. I'm just like a sarcastic bitch. Yeah. And they need thick skin to date me. Right. Ew. And he I doesn't just see my sarcasm. Like that. Ugh. I, so, that's like the worst personality. Jasmine's like, do you think that it was because you were mean and you hurt her feelings? And she laughs and she tells Jasmine to STFU. Yeah. She's like, STFU, respectfully, you don't know me. Ugh. I heard in hell. Yeah. That girl. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. So, you are Jas- a red flag, Amanda. Jasmine doesn't say anything. Surprising. It's not surprising because Jasmine's only confrontational with Gino. Yeah. And Jasmine, I don't think cares that much. Jasmine doesn't care. Yeah. She's like, yeah okay, cool. She's you know, like, you just cool. showed everyone who you are. Yeah. So now her sister Amber comes on with mm. full metallic eyeshadow to the brow. There's a lot happening in Amber's look. Okay. Mm-hmm. So Rosvan keeps saying that he's just not ready to commit 100%. I don't think that that's the reason. It's not the reason. He's saying yeah. that because he's like, let's just keep saying that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's what sounds good. Yeah. So Riley is trying to say that he just wanted to do sex. And it's like, stop. Mm, that's a, that. I, but I don't think that that's it. She said that he didn't want her to join other streams of TikTok and gift other people. Yeah. So don't what do that. You, what are you doing, Amanda? Well, that's how she met Rosvon. So I it's know, like, but is this like your thing that you go on yes. TikTok and you send people money? Stop. It's weird. 
Her sister said that there were reasons very specifically. Mm-hmm. And Amanda tells Amber to relax. She keeps and saying, relax. There was a guy mm-hmm. that she was romantically friends with. Mm-hmm. And she would go to him when she would fight with Rosvon. Mm-hmm. And that is who Rosvon was not like, hey, can you not? Yes. Gift this guy while you're laying mm-hmm. in my bed. Right. Thanks. And which I think is perfectly acceptable. Well, he said that he's coming to the U.S. for two months. Then he'll get an artist visa and give it another chance with their relationship. Here's the other thing. Yeah. Rosvon really just wanted to come to the U.S. Well, OK, so Rosvon really wanted to come to the U.S. And now he's like, well, I'm going to come to U.S. and we're going to have sex. Now mm-hmm. he's like, let's just bone. Yeah. Uh-huh. And he asked if she could stay with her, if he could stay with her. And she said no. She said, absolutely not. Yeah. Well, <laughs> let's talk about Tyre. Okay. Tyre and no one. <laughs> Tyre, Carmela, and Christian. Oh, God. Uh huh. I love uh-huh. that Tyre is like, I knew that this was obviously like not a real thing. I know. I, but he's like, I, I was in denial. I ignored every single red flag. It's like, at least you know that. I guess. So Amelia, the producer, comes out mm-hmm. and she has the recording with the catfish guy right oh i didn't like this oh yeah not at all. i didn't so like catfish it. guy said that um tyra gave him two to three thousand mm-hmm. dollars and he told him to come there because he needed clothes and a cell phone and had him drop off clothes and a cell- i mean these were men's clothes right? okay so this is what i was gonna ask what did you have did you have him bring you bikinis like what kind of clothes? What it's supposed to be for this beautiful like model in Barbados, right? Do right. you think he's gonna bring Calvin right. Klein underwear? You know right. what I mean? Like briefs? Like what right. do you think? It's and weird he said that he saw him. He watched him like from outside. I guess wherever he dropped it off, and he goes, uh, "quote He was dumb, stupid American." First of all, that is so creepy to think about. It's like yeah. this guy watched you drop the stuff up, but Tyre, how honestly stupid are you? I'm not going to say anything a lot. Actually, I said it. There you go. Unfortunately, I like Tyree. But no, there nice. is something lacking here. Of course. So they're going to call this guy Christian and it goes to voicemail and Riley screams a threat <laughs> into the voicemail and it makes me laugh. So I'm like, Queens. Me too. That's why I'm like, like oh Queens. my God. It was so. He's like, good. we're going to get you. <laughs> I know. And it, meanwhile, I'm like, this is probably Sean's number. She just has her phone on silent. Oh, definitely. Like, let's just make him feel better. Yeah, she's like, oh, I'm so sorry, Razvan. Oh, my God. Yeah. Riley said, we're going to get you, motherfucker. That's <laughs> what he said. Oh, that was so good. <laughs> oh, man. So apparently Tyre also sent suggestive photos to him. Now, I know what the photos are, but uh-huh. I want to think that maybe he's in an outfit. In an outfit. Mm-hmm. What kind of outfit? Mm-hmm. He said that his face was in the photos. Oh, okay. So what kind of outfit would I see? But they're provocative. Right. Like maybe a sexy a nurse? A sexy elf? <laughs> elf? I don't know. My first picture was him as an elf. Oh, so maybe it was. Sexy nurse. That would be interesting. Sexy nurse. Sexy yeah. male, male nurse. A sexy male nurse. A sexy cop. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe a construction worker, if you guys watched the other way already. Yeah. Okay. That would work. <laughs> um he said oh, that God, he's gonna take worker. he's gonna take um the high road and say he's just gonna pray for him and okay. then and then mm-hmm. it's over the entire thing mm-hmm. is over and then amanda as if we didn't like her enough uh-huh yeah he's like he doesn't know but i have a new boyfriend <laughs> and okay. i just didn't want to tell him tell me more about how you're mourning your dead husband right right tell me more about how you're a good you've person. had like three boyfriends since your dead husband which she was is five, such a bad person like five minutes ago five minutes uh-huh. ago she's a bad person sucks. she's nasty she's gross she's mean and she's just terrible and i gotta tell you jasmine's nicer than her jasmine's a hundred times nicer than her even when she's terrible to gino yep. she's nicer. well so that's the thing jasmine's like a jerk to gino because jasmine has issues yes. jasmine is not inherently mean she's mean that's the thing amanda's mean Yes. She made Rosvon cry multiple times. Yes. I mean, she's mean. Yeah. Bad person. I don't like her. Um, I'm so glad that I maybe never have to see her again. Hopefully, man. I don't know. Are they going to bring any of these people back? They're going to bring like Tyree back or something. Maybe he'll be on so. the single life. Oh, my God. I would love that. Me, too. Yes. That's what I'm thinking. I need him on the single uh-huh, life. Me, too. Please bring back the single life. They have life. to do something with some of these people. Please. Thank you. Yeah. 
All right, guys. Well, we have a great live recording coming up. It's going to be a live podcast at Caveat in New York City on November 11th at 4 p.m. on the Lower East Side of New York City. So make sure you come to that. All tickets are available at tracycarnazzo.com. I have a lot of shows coming up. I'll be in Maryland as well, uh, October 19th, I think. So Mm -hmm. go to tracycarnazzo.com. It's right down there in the show notes. Make sure you follow the podcast on Trash Talk Podcast on TikTok and 90 Day Podcast on Instagram and Twitter. Make sure you follow Noelle. Noelle's really the brains of everything here. (laughs) You are. Noe Girl on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And I'm at Trixie Chuzini on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I'm just the beauty. She's the brains. <laughs> Basicarnazzo.com. Leave us a five star rating and an amazing review on whatever platform you listen to us on and tell one friend about us. Just one. Just one friend. Just one friend. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye.